Welcome back to Let's Play The Foundation, the DLC chapter for Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and the good news is that last time, I found the final Ritual Stone and activated it, and we completed the nail! So, uh, the Astral Bleed is no longer happening. The bad news is that rather than hemorrhaging into each other, now the oldest house and the the astral plane are uh, vibrating on opposing frequencies and threatening to completely destroy each other. Right? Yeah, that guy knows what's up. Just oh fuck, man. Levitation ammo efficiency. Oh, I get it. Yeah, a, a snipe hunt. Uh, a snipe hunt is a very, very old practical joke where you talk someone into joining you for a snipe hunt, despite the fact that there is no such thing as an animal called a snipe, no matter how you convincingly describe it to them. Think of it as a wild goose chase. Well, more levitation is always good, so I'll do that. How much is that one? Launch large enemies. Honestly, I'd rather take those large enemies. Yeah, more levitation. Good. Now that I've gotten those things. And... Uh, how much is that? Two. Oh, I could get that right now. Ooh, eight. Not bad. You know what? Yeah, I'll get that. It, uh, I have wondered about Shield Rush, I must admit it. I mean, I have pretty much just been deflecting one blow at a time with these things, so yes. Shield 4. Plus 20% to Shield Strength. Alright. I wanted to check out the... Well, yes, the Collapse Department. No, I actually know where this is. Shit. Stupid loading screen getting in the way. <laughs> no. Yeah, this one. Man alive. I suppose I'll probably have to, uh... Oh, we will get really lucky. It would have been very funny, actually, if it had been right there by accident. Achievement unlocked. Master para-utilitarian. Spend 100 ability points. Why did I get that just now? Man, those really add up, huh? And another C's accelerator. I do love C's. Unfortunately, I had the mother load with those. Oh, yes, that. And, uh, the pyramid, get to the bottom of the nail. Upon completing the final ritual, the astral plane begins to collapse. The board is not answering and Jesse is trapped. A crystal appears, creating a bridge that Jesse uses to escape back into the Foundation. Why would they specify that part? Did something put the crystal there for me? And they wanted me to, be, to notice it? I don't know. Uh, Jesse talks at a concerned Pope at the crossroads. The nail is now repaired, but the astral bleed has accelerated. Jesse takes action despite Pope's warnings. Ominous. Uh, jump cut? Okay, I don't think I actually had very far to go at all. Those doors sure are slow. Yeah, it's just on the other side of that uh, ridge from the, uh, the waypoint. Is it women or men? Yes, right. 
I mean, I had already found it, so I figured it wouldn't be much harm to look that part up. Oh! Yes. Uh, let me just check that. Yeah, sorry, I misplaced it there for a second. Uh, shout out to Nintendo Fan Link, who pointed out that I missed something here. Uh, I I might have missed something here anyway. And that's that that thing looks really odd on the back. Can I go in here? Oop. Ooh, you know what that looks like to me? Ow. That looks like, um, cube socket. Oh, fuck. That should not have hurt. Not that much, anyway. Huh. I was wondering if this reflection meant that the toilet was secretly a cube. No! Man, I'm gonna get myself killed. Wait, how, how didn't that one do any damage? Yeah, that's that's uh, pretty definitive. Where the fuck is the thing at? Well, thanks for alerting me to that, uh, Link. I'm looking for the record at the pillar I was standing on because it won't let me go around it. All right. But if it's not out here, where the fuck could it be? No, no, that would have been very, very funny, but, uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. Well, I haven't found it yet. The golden core, I mean. But, uh, at this point, I am willing to see if I can, like, bring one of the regular power cores over there. I think there was a puzzle involving power cores around. Yeah! There was the giant machine! It had a whole bunch of extra power cores. I just suddenly remembered that as I'm saying this. I mean, the reason I started recording here is because I realized I could do something about this. Neat. Honestly, that never stops being cool. So let's see, it was over here somewhere, I know that. I think it was in there. How do I get in there? Through there, probably. Oh, look who's here. It's no one! There was a... Yeah, that happens sometimes, where it refuses to grab objects that are actually, you know, not on the other side of a wall, for example, from the thing you want to smash. It would be funny if there was a fucking button on the wall and I just missed it this whole time. Shit. Ah, that's right. 
Is it down? No, down led to a uh, swift platform. That's a zombie. What? No! Feck! I've retraced my steps. Okay, that wasn't the correct answer. Ah! I think I missed that one. Oh, I really missed that one. I haven't been down here yet. Well, shit! That'll be easy. Er, anyway. What not the hell nonsense is this? Let's try that one again, Jeremy. Are you feeling okay, my little dude? Um. Great. Now I need to take Jeremy to the gun veterinarian. There we go! Oh, this wasn't being overwhelming enough. Ooh, energy boost. I'm actually using that one. Uh, no, it's, oh, it's energy recovery speed. Fuck. But I already know I have one of those, so let's get rid of one of that. And... Hmm. You know what? I'll get rid of the one of the lower number. What do you guys think? <laughs> Bomb away, yes, okay. They put the boxes back! You know, that might be a really bad idea, given that we are talking about power cores. This is embarrassing. You know what? That'll work too. Uh, I just need to. Yes. I swear to God, if this thing despawns, or if it... You know, it's entirely possible this will not work. This is not one of the astral plane cores. Uh, this way. Yes, that's right. Ah, oh, no! My box. How dare you! So I ran back out into the other room, and I've realized that the targeting reticle for my uh, ground slam ability is inexplicably still there, even when I'm not looking at it. Or levitating. <laughs> for that matter. I bet it will reset when I... Oh, almost made it. Bring it on, you mothers. You there, beat your friends to death. It'll be great. Everyone will be really impressed with your prowess. Ow! Ow! There we go, I did get it out of the way. Oh, What the? Oh, that's my guy, yeah, okay. I thought it was really funny, I'm looking up at that guy in a fucking hammer comes flying out of nowhere. Achievement unlocked, hostile work environment. Oh. 
find it interesting that even after you cleanse those guys, they, uh... Why is it still playing the music? Everybody dead. Oh! That's one. I don't remember what I was saying, unfortunately. But, uh, hey, when the hell has that been a new thing, right? And it was, uh... Hell. VHS aficionados in the greater Dallas area. Yeehaw! The movie is called Delivery Disaster. Oh no. Uh -oh. We open in media res. A mailman drives a truck full of packages down in uh, an endless American neighborhood as a pack of rabid dogs chase behind. Now, these dogs are nothing like my mom, my stepmom's corgi Chuck. These were some real nightmare hellhounds. <laughs> The dogs keep pace with the mail truck, tearing chunks out of the driver's legs and arms. Each package he throws out the door is marked by his bloody handprint. He screams in pain and confusion, and this goes on and on until the movie just abruptly ends. There aren't even any credits, which is a pretty bold choice. Is this film a commentary on how our nine to five jobs are killing us, or how hostile the modern world is to outdated concepts like mailmen? Perhaps it's merely a statement about the futility of purpose and how no task can ever be really done. There are lots of ways to interpret it, but for now, let's get to the part you're all waiting for. It's score time! Score. I give this film a 4 out of 5, only because the actor frequently broke the fourth wall by looking into the camera and shouting at it, like he was shouting at the audience. A little too on the nose for me, but I did enjoy it, and I recommend you check out other films produced by Blessed Pictures. Bike Hard and Coffee Bullet are the only others I found. Oh no. But this little art house studio certainly knows how to push the boundaries of Western cinema. <laughs> and a friendly reminder that there will be no new episode next week, as I will be visiting my aunt in Delaware for Thanksgiving. Thanks for listening, all you Brian fans. And remember, we all love movie magic, but don't forget about the you magic. Until next time, Moody Dan. Brian's Moody Dan. Moody Dan. Brian, 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 Brian! Oh, it was waiting for me. I wasn't sure if they did that or not. I mean, I knew I couldn't manually do it, but that is not the same thing as, you know, what happens if you're stupid enough to still be standing there when it comes back on its own. Well, I'm glad I found that. Although I am confused, it's, I thought it turned them into action movies. That's not an action movie, it's just a guy being tortured for, like, 20 minutes. Shit. Alright, I'll go get those cubes again, then. Just look at all those dots, shining like a, like a night sky. Yeah, this time the room was very busy. sharpened, and too elevated, and even a trooper after a while. Alright, you fucks. Maybe it's because I killed them all so hard they can't come back yet. Or hey, maybe I've finally killed every last hiss. Okay, then from here I just go north. Is it this door? Uh, 
some. <laughs> what a silly episode this is going to be if this doesn't work. Maybe I'll just call it determination. Don't wait for the door to stop moving. <sighs> oh. Uh, sup? <laughs> it worked! I guess that confirms that the uh, that the golden cores are directly inspired by the power cores, or maybe the other way around. Uh, sup, Maneki Neko? Okay. Is, is it one of those things where the cat appears all over the place and I have to find it? I think that's the same sound effect it made when the duck teleported. Well, except that it was accompanied by a quack, of course. Huh. I don't know what to make of that. What was the actual definition of that achievement I got? Hostile work environment. Kill 50 hiss sharpened. Well, that explained explain why the icon is an axe, but you know. Well, I'm not actually sure what I've accomplished here. But, uh... I guess I'll, uh, see you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Control. We gotta save the universes, after all. Although, I'm sorry, it's, uh, Let's Play The Foundation. DLC Chapter 4 Control. <laughs> oh, boy. See you next time, Burning Dog fans. Later!